fella there is Warren and I'm his gynaecologist. You must be Phil. That's not fair. I was Phil last time. Mm. This will be nice when it's finished. Uh, Warren's through here. Warren? Hello, big boy. Give us a snog. Roller. <laughs> yeah, stick this somewhere appropriate. Can't believe you're early. I nearly didn't come at all. There was this guy on the bus to die for. I'll leave you to it then. Sorry, Phil. This is Millie. Charmed, Millie. So, do you think you'll see this Patrick again? Up to him. We do the obligatory exchange of numbers. But you know how it is. Just part of the ritual, probably. Cynic. Fun, anyway. Isn't it a bit risky, cruising the park? Well, you know, that's half the excitement. But in your line of work, what about the police? I love a man in uniform. I followed this guy around for ages the other night. There weren't many people around, so I was up for it. The only thing was, he had a dog with him. He didn't fancy a threesome. So, we cruise each other around a bit, and then suddenly he points to some bushes. Oh, clever dog. We're fumbling about in the rhododendron, snogging at that. Mm. And I make a move for this guy's dick. Thanks. And the dog goes... <laughs> I'll take my hands away. The dog stops barking. I feel this guy's ass. Nice ass. We start snogging. The dog's being really quiet. So I go for the cock again. <laughs> well, I get the giggles. <laughs> and I say to the dog, will you shut the fuck up? And this bloke goes, don't you shout at Madonna. <laughs> and storms off. <laughs> Oh, hello. Kira. Every girl's mum is her best friend. I know mine is. Yeah, but why'd you go and marry such a creep? You know, he won't even let me play my music. He comes out with all that, don't anyone write a tune anymore crap. My dad used oh. to say that about the Beatles. I've told him techno meant about tunes. It's like about, you know, letting yourself feel something really basic. Primal. Yeah, primal. Do you like techno? Mm, more of a take that man myself. <laughs> really? I thought they were crap. Mind you, I think that Jason Orange is quite cute. So is Mark. <laughs> God, these things are so hard to wash. <laughs> Mummy, why are your hands so soft? Look, she doesn't know. What? She doesn't know I'm gay. What, she had a lobotomy? None of my family do. You're kidding? No, so just cut out the camp, OK? Oh, God, there was no loo roll. I had to use a J-cloth. <laughs> How mm, resourceful. You must have been in the brownies. Uh, look, Kira, would it help if I rang your mum, had a word? No, oh, thanks. She thinks you're a stuck-up prat. <laughs> but I've told her you're not. Well, not stuck-up, anyway. Thanks. Uh, I was just saying to Phil, I've got to get up early in the morning for a meeting on a TDA case. Oh, great. First time I come round here and you're already chucking me out. No, no, I'm not. i just really got to go to bed soon. Oh, right. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Phil. Phil's going too. Yes, I'm off too. Thanks for listening. I'll call you a cab. That's all right. You can share mine. You're going the other way. Well, there's a first. I'll call two cabs.